Hello everyone, I am Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how the narcissist loves to spy on you. If that sounds good to you, please hit the thumbs up button down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor. .co.uk. The narcissist loves to spy on you. This may be difficult to comprehend, but yes, narcissists actually enjoy spying on their targets. They enjoy secretly collecting information on your activities, movements and plans because they view you as their enemy and competitor. So when they're spying on you, it distracts them from their miserable lives. And then they get to feel like they're a secret agent or FBI, like they're James Bond or something, which is why they intentionally discarded you, or they became so toxic to the point where you had to cut them off because they don't find enjoyment in interacting with you directly. They prefer to watch and observe because it gives them a sense of power and control over their target, which can be very confusing. Because the entire time they made you feel like you were nothing, they made you feel worthless. And then you saw them ride off into the sunset with their new supply. But now they're watching you, and it makes them very excited. When they're behind their phone screen or computer screen, and they're spying on you, which is why you need to be very careful if they have access to your social media, because they are absolute creeps. Even though they may act like they're preoccupied with their new supply, they're actually focused on you. They're focused on whether you're still suffering or if you've managed to heal and move on, because they're very concerned about your emotional state and even how you're doing financially, which is why you need to be very careful with what you're posting online, because certain posts may aggravate them. It may set them off. It may make them dislike and oppose you, because even though they may have discarded you, at some level they understand that it's their loss. They know that they've lost something of value and that is why they're still watching you. Even though everything they're seeing is making them sick and it's making them despise you even more. It's fueling their obsession to where you may even catch them waiting around your house or around your workplace. Or they may randomly appear somewhere they know you're going to be because they just can't control themselves around you which is why they will often do and say weird things. They're strange, odd, bizarre, unusual and crazy, but they're also very curious about you as well. They're eager to know and learn things about you. You arouse and excite their speculation, interest and attention. Even though you may not feel any interest towards them, which is why they may be creeping around your family or friends, to try to find out information about you. And naturally you may assume that they're desiring to be in contact with you. But if you assume that, you would be mistaken because spying on you and stalking you actually has more of an impact on them. It gives them more of a rush to where they experience a sudden surge of energy and heightened alertness in response to a perceived threat or intense excitement, which is something they don't get from interacting directly with you. They only experience those feelings and sensations when they're causing drama and mischief, or when they're gossiping about you behind your back. And it's due to their childhood trauma, where now they can only experience energy and excitement from having power over you rather than treating you respectfully and as their equal. So in essence, they get this euphoric rush only from driving you away, rather than connecting with you on a deep emotional level, 
which of course is something narcissists can't do because they can't be vulnerable. So even though they may be flaunting their new supply, as though they're having such a great time with them, the reality is that they're getting more of a rush from spying on you because the new supply is typically just as creepy and strange as the narcissist. So they're probably spying on you as well. And they're bonded together over everything they're seeing from you. So essentially you are the catalyst of their relationship. Your words, enthusiasm and energy causes them to be more friendly, enthusiastic and energetic. So you're the glue that's holding it all together. You're the foundation on which they tremble. You prepare the conditions for the occurrence and the beginning of their new relationship. Which is how you should know that it's all fake. Because without you, it wouldn't have been possible. And yet they're not aligned with you. They view you as their enemy or opponent. They despise you. And yet at the same time they're spying on you. Because you set the stage. You make it possible. So you're like the director of their movie. You have the power. Which is why the best that they're going to get now is from watching you at a distance. And that's how they occupy their time. It's what fills their thoughts and minds. Because you had a huge impact on their life. Even though they may never have made you aware of that, just look at their actions. Look at how they're spying and stalking on you. It should reveal to you that you've unknowingly tipped them over the edge. You've made them lose control to where they're now suffering an emotional breakdown and they're coming after you. And what makes this even more crazy is how you never even intended to harm them. You're actually a genuine, loving, kind person. So that reveals just how weak they really are. But that's just how it is when you're dealing with a narcissist. The person who has the most power in loving the narcissist also has the most power at harming them. Because all you've got to do is take away whatever you're providing to them. And then that's enough to make them go insane. Since you were unknowingly the backbone of their lives, you were the glue. So without you, of course, they're going to fall apart. Of course, they're going to act crazy because they can't live without you. They never found anyone as wonderful as you before. And they will never find that wonderful person ever again. Which is why they're not just stalking you for a few months after you're gone. They're on you for years, sometimes for the rest of their lives. Because they just can't find anyone else like you. You're unmatched, you're irreplaceable. But the entire time they may not even say anything. They may not make any contact with you. Because to them it's a game. It's a strategy to check, offset and counter your moves. Which means that they can't be vulnerable. They can't say what's on their mind. They can't speak the truth. They can't tell you that you're right. And they can't even apologize. But instead they will be monitoring you. They will be conducting a detailed analysis on everything you're doing. Even if you're just going to a restaurant and you post a picture of your meal on Instagram. They're even watching that. And it's aggravating them. It's driving them insane. Because they hate and envy you. But they can't participate and get the same fulfillment as you do. Because they thrive in toxic environments. They can't enjoy peace or happiness like you do. So they envy you. They despise you. But even though it's really winding them up. At the same time it's also filling a void. It's bringing them intense excitement. Because that's what they like. They enjoy drama and mischief. They love to gossip. So they're getting off on watching everything that you do. While it's making them sick at the same time. But as messed up as it sounds, this is actually what they do. And they may be spying on you right now. But you won't know because they're covert. So it's not openly displayed. But they're hidden somewhere in their lair. In their secret and private place. Where they feel safe and secure. They're sheltered from pursuit, danger and trouble. And they're watching you on their phone or computer. Until their breathing clouds up the screen. 
and they're doing this for years. They're watching you for years. Which is how some victims have, a, have been hoovered decades after the discard. And it's not that they just suddenly decided to make contact. They were watching for all of that time. And maybe they noticed a shift in the victim's energy or behavior, which is then what triggered the hoover because they saw an opening to gain access into their lives. And it's how you should understand that you provide more supply at a distance from you being in a world of your own, where you're thinking your own thoughts and ideas and not giving any attention to the narcissist than the supply they're getting from the person they're with now and from whatever else may be going on in their lives. Which is how victims often end up becoming targets of smear campaigns and gang stalking because what you're doing is far more interesting and exciting than anything they've got going on. Which is why their minds are preoccupied with you. Because you're centered. You're in a world of your own. You're grounded, focused on yourself and aware of your thoughts, feelings and actions. And that is incredibly attractive. It demonstrates confidence and belief in yourself. But it also triggers their jealousy. Because they feel like they're being left out. So then they try to divert your attention, they try to distract you because they get more of a feeling from being associated with you, even if it's through a computer or from hearing about you through other people. It gives them more of a supply, more of a connection than they can get from their new supply and from all of their enablers and flying monkeys combined. Because you're grounded and centered, you're in a world of your own, what well, their negative energy is going to do is going to so many different things and they've got their nose in everyone's business. So naturally, you're going to give them the most potent supply. You're going to be the energy bank for all of these emotional vampires because you're self-aware and you spend most of your time by yourself, which makes you a high grade source of fuel for these creatures. And it leaves such an impact on their lives because before they met you, they never knew that people like you existed. You built them up. You made them feel good about themselves until they became arrogant. And then they thought that they could do better because although it may look like they're riding off into the sunset with their new supply, they're actually riding off into the depths of hell because they're never gonna get that same feeling that they had with you, that rush of excitement and adrenaline which is why although there may be no communication between the two of you, they will be spying on you because it makes them feel more complete than being in a relationship with their new supply. It's more potent than anything they might get from all of their enablers and flying monkeys. So they will be desperately watching you. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on our website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.